let's just to begin <coughs> by talking about a few terminological uh, considerations with regard to who's accessing uh, recreational drugs and paternalism. Uh, the first term that we should look at is in the title, paternalism. And there's an interesting, maybe we can get to the meaning of that term by uh, looking at a distinction that Huzak makes between paternalism and legal moralism. So what is the difference between paternalism and legal moralism? Well, well paternalism comes from the Latin for father. And so we can say that to be paternalistic is to take a fatherly attitude towards someone, uh, or just generally a parental attitude, mother or father type attitude. So what would, for instance, be a paternalistic um, justification of what uh, Huzak calls uh, the criminal legislation against the use of recreational drugs, or C-L-A-U-R-D is the acronym that he uses throughout the essay. That would be to say that drug laws exist to uh, protect people from engaging in voluntary be behavior that is harmful or would be harmful to themselves. Um, that is to take that parental role of basically telling somebody what's good for them, the way that a parent informs a child properly of, of what is good for them. So a paternalistic justification uh, for uh, criminal legislation against the use of recreational drugs would be preventing people from doing harm to themselves. Uh, <coughs> a legal uh, moralism point of view, and from, from, what I, from, from what I can gather from this essay, would be to say that uh, the criminalization of drug use is justified because drug use is simply wrong, and things that are wrong people shouldn't do. So there should be laws against it. That is, uh, 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 that, that is a much less popular position, I believe, because there are certain maybe problems with that right off the bat. But uh, paternalism is taking an attitude and saying, you know, uh, here, we're going to prevent you from doing this because this will harm you. And it, you, you may decide to do it, but you shouldn't uh, because you will bring harm to yourself and we're protecting you from yourself. Um, Legal moralism would be to say, we're going to make something illegal, and the reason that it's illegal is because it's wrong, it's immoral. So the, fir the first one really has to do with, with harm, preventing people from harming themselves. The, the second, legal moralism, seems to have to do with just preventing people from doing things which are immoral, uh, irrespective of whether those activities bring actual harm to themselves. Uh, the more important term here, I think, to, to, to really get Huzak's essay, you have to understand what paternalism is, uh, paternalistic attitudes, paternalistic approach to the law, paternalistic justification for, the, uh, for drug laws, etc. A uh, second really important terminological pair or contrast or distinction is between what he calls deontology or deontological uh, approach to uh, the law and to ethics, and a consequentialist approach to those things. Those things. Uh, deontology again, it comes from the Greek. It's kind of an, a, a complicated etymology. But the, when we talk about deontology uh, with regard to say morality, we're talking about rights, obligations, and duties. That is to say, okay, um, let's say the question is whether it's okay to lie. To take a deontological approach would be asked to ask whether we have a duty and an absolute obligation to always tell the truth. Um, to take a consequentialist approach would be to say, um, what are the consequences for ourselves and for other human beings if we choose to lie? Are those consequences good or bad? Um, if, we, if we generally tell the truth, will that make the people happier? Will it make a better world, etc.? That is, to just as in the, the the term itself to look at the consequences of our actions uh, rather than the duties or obligations that we may have that are separate from those consequences. So a deontological approach is an approach that has to do again with rights, uh, duties, obligations. Consequentialist approach has to do with effects, results. Now his approach here is deontological primarily. You know that is that, that he's really asking about whether uh, adult individuals have a right 
to choose uh, to use uh, drugs uh, as opposed to a consequentialist approach that would generally assess the viability of drug laws or the um, defensibility of drug laws on the basis of the, um, the consequences of using drugs or the consequences of banning drugs. So there's some terminolo terminology here, some terminological complexities um, that you kind of have to get down before you really can read the essay clearly. Uh, again, the first is re you really have to understand what paternalism is. And if I have not cleared it up uh, in any kind of helpful way, just, just look it up. I mean, look at the Wikipedia article on paternalism. It's perfectly fine, as opposed to legal moralism. And uh, the more, I would say, more difficult distinction between uh, deontology and the deontological approach to ethics and the law as opposed to the consequentialist approach.